Hello, welcome to Global Alliance Education Training Development Month. I'm Alexander Membiarwan, the Program Director of London School Academy Digital and a lecturer for Communication Studies of LSPR Communication and Business Institute. Today, I'm going to talk about press dealing during crisis. How do we know that we are dealing with a crisis? First, we need to understand the difference between issue and crisis. These are some measurements to determine for the disaster. Usually, we don't say crisis, we say disaster. So people understand that basically, we are not intentionally creating this. First, we need to know if the organization or employee in the position of high risk, if it is related to financial or management system, but the third one is very important, if it will affect a company or organization image, and of course, an additional, your reputation can be jeopardized. So these are the measurements to determine that you are dealing with a crisis. If the effect of that problem or that issue or that crisis is basically jeopardize your image and reputation, we call that crisis. If it's an issue, it's still in the public. If it's a crisis, it's already been blown up by the media. So what to do during crisis? First, we need to keep your emotion in check. Why do we have to keep our emotion in check? Just like a human being, when we make mistakes and people try to put us down, of course, we're gonna get defensive. When we get defensive, our emotion rise high. So we need to understand, oh wait, if I make mistakes, of course, there's gonna be precautions. Of course, there's gonna be some impact towards it. So we need to understand, oh, I make mistakes. So of course, I'm gonna deal with it. When my emotions are rise high, I need to deal with it. And at the time when we're gonna talk to the public, at the time when we're gonna talk to the media, we need to understand that we have to deal with them in a very well-mannered situation. But being emotional stable is not enough. We need to gather the facts first. We have to create investigation. Of course, to gather these facts, we need time. But sometimes when the crisis is rising, of course, the media or the public wanted some answers, some statement. So make sure that you, are ma you make friends with the media. Although the media sounds like your enemy because they try to put you down, but basically they're just trying to gather facts. They're just trying to get some statement out of you. So you have to tell them some stories, but the stories must be real. It must be according to your investigations. Interaction with the media during crisis. Sometimes, of course, when the media wants some answers from you, you will deal with some ambush interview. Although you already created a press conference, when you get down from the stage, they, try, they still try to give you some ambush interview. So ambush interview, sometimes you are cornered and you are dealing with a lot of cameras and of course a lot of mics. So again, you need to understand that you need to keep your emotion intact. You, need, you have to be composed. You need to understand every word that's coming out from your statement. So of course, during those ambush interview, you wouldn't give a wrong statement. Second, the press conference. Of course, press conference is the go-to uh, activity when we're dealing with crisis. And of course, because we are in a stage, make sure that the level are higher than your audience. So when you are speaking to them, you are in a higher position. So when you put your people in front of them, please choose your spokesperson appearance and choose your spokesperson wisely. Make sure that they visualize as the high level management and make sure that when they give answer, they are an expert. Because of course, when you are an expert and you dress well, and of course, when you have that persona, you are in a position of power. And within this crisis, especially when we say it's a crisis, the duration of crisis, of course, is going to be long. It's not going to be short. So you need to keep an official press conference in a regular base. Regular interactive every 12 or 24 hours. Because of what? 
Because if you're holding down an answer, or if you are holding out your statement, it, it means that you're allowing the media to speculate. You're allowing the public to speculate. When the public and the media speculate, it's going to be dangerous for you. So how do we manage negative interview? Okay, first, get all the true real facts. Make sure it's according towards your investigation and put some expert into it. Be prepared to answer question, the five W and one H. For example, what happened? Is the public safety is involved? Who is affected? When? Where? Why did it happen? Tell it all and tell it fast, like I said. If you tell it long or you hold out your answer, your statement, of course you're allowing people to speculate. That's very dangerous. Four, set up a team that can respond to this emergency situation. So you have to create this media relations. Make sure that they are 24 hour ready to give some statement or answers. Five, when the media with the very little facts ambush you, give all you can and explain that are still in the process of gathering facts. So never say you don't know. Never say that I, have, I don't have the answer. But always say it is under an, an investigation. If it's under investigation, it's, it means that you are dealing with it. So make sure that you never say no, but it is under investigation. Six, keep informed or mass moving situation. For example, if it's the investigation, is actually you're still doing it? So tell them the process. Just give them your situation so they would understand you even better. Seven, use news briefing to provide regular updates. Eight, if there has been a genuine mistakes, apologize. We're gonna be uh, quite different from the legal department. As a PR, uh, as a per practitioners, we are not like lawyers. We are of course in the side of our company, but we are the bridge to our public. So if we know that our public suffer, we need to apologize of their situation and give a sincere, a, a, a sincere apologize, okay? Be open and honest with the media. Then express yourself very carefully. So you need to understand when you check your emotion, you also check every words coming out from your statement. 11, keep sensitive documents out of sight. We have to be transparent, but it doesn't mean we have to be naked. 12, don't consider media as your friend, but don't consider them as your enemy. You need to understand they are there to actually help you to communicate to the public. They are there to, to actually visualize your statement. So, when the reporters are visiting, keep your eyes on them. Keep your eyes like, see them as a hawk, like a hawk. Never say no comment, like I said. If there isn't enough factual information to give out, you can give holding statement which puts the story in context. Disaster press release. So, to be used for a special situation such as accident or fatal problem, has to be approved by the emerging response teams. And the last one, writer and authorized person must be on site and in which the public relation is can be one of the emergency team. The objective of the disaster press release is to clarify the situation to, to show regret and apologize, to explain for further steps and to handle the situation. After the crisis, a crisis, however, will manage, will damage our organization reputation, whether you like it or not. And it's a relationship with the stakeholders. Therefore, when a crisis has been resolved, of course, a communication professionals needs to actively creating positive PR stories. Engage stakeholders, the media, public in how you are addressing any continuing issues. Produce stories showing that the organization is doing good, perhaps about how it is involved in the community or spreading change in the industry. Thank you for listening to my materials. I hope it may give you some insight and hope to see you in my next material. 
I'm MBR1, signing off.